Linus, did you see the Razer phone? Linus, where's your unboxing of the Razer phone? Linus, why haven't you reviewed the Razer phone yet? Well, because I didn't get one. But that changes today. Razer just sent over a care package. This is it. The 64 gig and only version of their new flagship first ever mobile device. The Razer Phone. Oh, that's how the box opens. Okay, so there's a big long letter about how much you love Razer. Okay, that's good. Then, Razer's characteristically excellent packaging. We've got a Razer SIM removal tool. Wow, that's actually a really cool SIM removal tool. All right, cool. Yeah, they got my attention so far. We've got Oh, <laughs> well, it's there. So there's a type C to three and a half millimeter adapter, a type C to type C charging cable, a wall wart, and the Razer phone itself. So I watched the keynote. I have a pretty good idea of what to expect from this device, but what I actually didn't do is watch anybody else's unboxings or reviews of it because I really wanted to save my impressions for myself. And first impressions, this is a really, really big phone. Like I might not have grabbed the right devices for kind of hands-on size comparison here. I've got an iPhone 10. And you can see it absolutely dwarfs that. This is definitely a phablet sized device. I've got a Galaxy S8. Oop. All right, there it is next to a Pixel 2 XL. So those are much more similar in terms of their size. It's not actually a lot bigger in terms of its total width or its total height compared to the Pixel 2 XL. But there is something about blockier phones that makes them feel bigger in the hand. With that said, something that I think Razer has found a good balance of here is that it's still, because, of it, because it's got nice flat edges, you can still kind of support it like this. And using it one-handed is not going to be the end of the world in a pinch, especially if you're someone who has larger hands than I do. OK, this is just not working, so let's try 2.4 gigahertz. Maybe I'm just entering the password wrong twice in a row. Just going to pop the SIM out of my 5T, since I'm actually done writing up my review on that one, and I'm ready to start using the Razer phone as a daily driver. And we'll see if maybe throwing a SIM in it is going to give us enough of a data connection to get through the setup process here. Yeah, sure. Well, I guess I'll just do this uh, 250 meg update on my mobile data. Um, hopefully, it fixes the Wi-Fi issues. Maybe that's what it's for. You know what? It's OK. Everybody needs an update now and then. We have successfully updated. Razer phone. Let's start over. Hey, look at that. All right. We have a Wi-Fi connection. No problem. OK, I'll be right back once I've signed in. Wow. The display has kind of a blotchiness to it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick that up on camera, but you can really see on white, white backgrounds that it's not quite a pure white. Can you see that? It has kind of like a grid kind of pattern to it. Interesting. You know, so far, it actually reminds me a lot of like one of Sony's older Xperia phones. It's got the fingerprint sensor on the right. It's got the kind of squarish, uh, blocky shape. Unlike Sony, though, it's using a basically stock Android with just a couple of modifications. Oh, it looks like that 120 hertz display is enabled right out of the box. Wow, that feels smooth. I'm still seeing that slight pattern, but honestly, it's the kind of thing you could probably get used to in exchange for that sort of buttery feeling to the interface. I'm liking that. Oh, I could get used to that. OK, so first thing I want to do here is get the developer options enabled so that I can turn on the, yeah, there we go. OK, interesting. So we've got a live frame rate counter 
that's telling us exactly what refresh rate the display is running at here. So you can see that when the image is static, it's actually turning way down to as low as 20 frames per second. Then when you move around, actually, you could see it hitch there while it kicked in. It's jumping up to 90 frames per second. Really cool. OK, I'm going to just fire up the Google Play Store and uh, get a game that I know supports 120 hertz. We interrupt this video to bring you the real reason that I couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi. Alex here walked in complaining that he couldn't get a device on the Wi-Fi. And I realized we're out of IP addresses. <laughs> ah, it wasn't Razor's fault. That's probably also why all the smart uh, light control modules aren't connecting. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so I'm calling tech support <laughs> on my Razer phone. Sounds OK, I guess. This voicemail box is full. Please try again later. Thank <laughs> you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> Worst IT guy of all time. Look at all this crap. Look at all these devices. Why are there so many devices? What is bad address? Nobody names anything. You know what? Let's just kick Ed off. <laughs> we found the button, so I'm just going to open it right up to all the way down to, let's say, 30. And hopefully, we don't step on anything. OK, try and connect. Well, give it a second. It did it. It did it. OK. Right. Yes. Problem solved. OK. And back to you, Linus. OK, so we are back to our unboxing of the Razer phone. Let's go ahead and fire up Simpsons Tapped Out, a game that supposedly supports 120 FPS on this 120 hertz display. And of course, there's an update. Not as many as this phone's getting. OK, age to continue. I don't like it, but I'm 31. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Go away. Tap to play anonymously to start playing while the game something's in the background. You know what? That uh, pattern that I noticed before, really only noticeable on plain white. And for what? Are your pretend town can have more pretend flowers than your pretend friends? <laughs> Uh -oh. Wow, those speakers get really loud. I got to say, I was impressed by the speakers on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, but these absolutely blow them away. OK, I'm not sure that this is the kind of game that benefits like the most from high frame rate, but that's cool. I mean. The zooming, when it's not hiccuping here, is really smooth. OK, next order of business, we could try another game. Um, the ones that are included, World of Ten, they don't have a lot of color in that game. Titanfall Ass. Hey, OK, between now and the full review, I'm going to have to spend some time in that one. Like, I'm, I'm picturing giant robots, like, like twerking, you know? Like, no? No, Brandon? No. I, oh, wow. All the, all the no over there. OK, that's fine. I'll, I'll spend more time on the gaming aspects of the phone before the full review. So the last thing I just want to have a quick look at is the camera. Now, this is something that Razer has already even acknowledged that they're going to have to improve a little bit. Um, you know, Other than like a quick test shot of something, I'm not going to be able to do much with it now. but. I mean, other than some you know, aliasing around his head or whatever, I'm not seeing anything that immediately makes it stand out as being like, terrible. Here's a Pixel 2 XL. So yeah, there's clearly some finer detail in this guy already. But uh, you know, really, it's going to come down to how usable it is in the day to day. So there you have it, unboxing of the Razer phone. Full review to come. 
If you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description, also down there. You know what, I'm not gonna do the full outro, forget it, it's just an unboxing.